Hi everybody, and welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara, and also welcome to our once a month premiere video. Um, I like the way we did it last month. Um, there was a little bit of drama, but I think it worked out really well. So tonight, from the beginning, um, we're going to do this where if you see an item that you like and you would like to own it, um, the first person that comes in has to put want and the price. Okay, I don't want to say want. If you didn't, if you don't put the price, it goes to the next person that puts the price. So put want and the price. We are also going to go by what is on my screen. Okay, because um, that is what I see. And this happens all the time in YouTube videos, and it also happens a lot of the time in Facebook live videos where people put in and their comments always come up first but you have to go by what I see also please toggle your chat to live chat it makes a difference otherwise you might get a lag okay in putting in the comments and um, that's pretty much it now um, I have everybody's videos processed um, Pretty much all the items, um, you will be all getting your um, invoices, you know how I send them out, probably on the 4th, okay? I want to be able to include this in, but um, I won't be able to do anything for the next few days as I'm going tomorrow to get um, a, a procedure, and I'm going to be kind of... Um, not able to do a lot of stuff for about four days. So this will give me time also because I can't sit here and type. No typing for me for the next four days. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, um, just put a message in. I will try to read your emails um, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, but I have to take it easy um, for, for these four days because um, I don't want a risk of bleeding. So um, anyway, let's get started with this video. All right, I have a mixture tonight. A while back, I purchased um, a true treasure chest, believe it or not. I have to show it to you at some time. It actually looks like a treasure chest. It has a treasure chest lock on it. And um, I have a lot of stuff here that was in that treasure chest. So, you've never seen any of this stuff. It's kind of interesting. And I also have some bone that you haven't seen. So, I want to try to get through um, um, most of this. All right. And, um, and I also have a really nice wallet here, which I will tell you about. Nice leather wallet. Um, so, we have a combination of um, the bone, which is kind of tribal. Um, and then we have this stuff here, which I would put this towards more like boho stuff. But there's different things in here. All right, now I want to get my ruler out so I have it handy. And uh, I'm going to try to do the best I can, um, giving you all the, the info on this. i got to find Buster. I don't know where Buster went off to. i got Bertha here. Let's see. I did a little cleaning here today so things are kind of moved around well I found Bertha I don't know where Buster fell off to so I got Bertha here all right all right so our first piece is um, one of these collars that's made um, from um, uh, seed beads and different beads all right all right, let me show you this. All right, and this one here is different because it has a very, very, very thin chain on it. Here's the back. Okay, what they do is they work this onto a, um, a like a, what they call it. Uh, it's a hard material, and they put the beads in it, and then after that they take and they put um, um, a covering on the back. This one, I would say, is, um, it's, you know, it's a nice piece. This is by Zad. 
All right. I very seldom ever see these ever done by um, na names. Now, somebody could have took and changed the chain on this. All right. But I have, I have this piece here. I think it's very nice. Um, let me put it on Buster so you have an idea how it'll sit on your neck. It's really very nice. And it does have an extender, and you'll be able to change things around. Um, there's the back. There's your extender and the tag. Nice shape. All right. And it has, it's, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a little bit longer. Um, it's like a 16... 16 incher plus the extender so if anybody's interested in this it's really very pretty um let's do this for six all right trying to put these things in an area where i can get to them easily all right now i have a bracelet it's not quite um a match but this is really 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 nice and this is the bracelet. It's done in oranges and blues. This is really, really, really pretty. All right. I got to write all these down before the video so I don't have a real hard time. Um, this looks really nice. It's pliable so you can take and put it according to your wrist. All right. I would say this is a small to a medium. Um, I mean, you can open this up a lot more if you want, and then it'll it'll fit somebody a little bit bigger. But, you know, you want to make sure that you have enough space, you know, to close it up so it doesn't fall off of your wrist. This here has glass beads, bugle beads, sequins, sequins and seed beads. It's very pretty. Um, I was going to keep this, and I says, well, what the hell, it's got to go. All right, so we'll do this for seven. All right, let's do a bone piece. Oh, these you haven't seen. You might have seen something similar, but I found a box with some bone in it, and I, I said, oh, let me share some bone pieces tonight. All right. Now, this is a long necklace. And this is really nice. It's 12 inches. Uh, 24. 12, 24. This is going to be 50 inches. All right. And these are your, the beads. This is a very long piece. There is no clasp on this. Let me get Bertha out here. I hope this will work. Now I have it doubled. And you can see how long this is. It's really nice. You could probably take this and, and, and even do it one more time. Bring it up. I don't know how it would be on your, on your neck. I know that's getting washed out on... On Bertha, let me bring it over. Very nice pieces of bone. All right, think of your that you've got yourself a nice piece here, um, with uh, um, a really nice length. Anybody's interested in this piece? We'll do this one for eight. All right, now I have a really piece of boho. And this is going to be a collar. And I love this. If you want something bright, but yet it's good for fall. This is more of an ethnic piece. If anybody's seen this, it's really done. This is a wooden piece. And it's a slide that's on all these beads. Okay, very pretty. I like the colors. Sort of Halloween-y. Halloweeny. All right, let's see what this is here. That's 12. This is going to be 16 inches. 
15 to 16 inches. Very pretty. It's got a signature there, KD. Anybody interested in this really nice necklace? I have to get this. This has got to come through here. There we go. All right. That's a problem everybody has sometimes, too, as they get tangled. Let's do this for six. This is very, very, very pretty. Okay. Lots of bright colors. Great for fall. All right. All right. Let's do... Um, let's try this one. Now, this is another boho -y piece. And I'm looking. I don't see a name on this, but this is pretty. Heavy. Okay. This is like a Cleopatra collar. Very, very nice. Lots of color here. Bright yellow, orangey, turquoise. It's interwoven with a rainbow of um, um, what they call satin cord. It's on a gold tone chain. And um, a big lobster claw clasp. And an extender with a bead on it. I'll give you a close up. It's very, very pretty. Very boho. Let me see here. Did I give you a drop on it? A little bit more than a 16 inch drop as it sits. But you're going to have more to play with because you have a very, very nice, nice extender. Here's the back. It's in great shape. You see that, how pretty it is? All right, we'll do this also for seven, if anybody's interested in it. Very different, very nice. Okay, let's do a couple of bangles. This, we have a nice brass bone bangle here. And this one here um, is probably a medium large. Okay, um, I like this. There's, um, you can see... Um, some of the different um, characteristics of the bone in this. It really shows it off well. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bangle. We'll do five on this one. All right. You can see how nice this is. Five dollars. Remember, want and the price. Now, this one here is, let me see the size on this. This is about the same. Um, I can wear this, and I have a small wrist, but you can see where it comes down on me, so I will again say it's a medium-large. Here we have the really nice piece of the bone all put together, and this is natural. This is really, really pretty, and it's got the inside. It's all brass. This is pretty. We'll do, um, we'll do five on this one also. I okay. Well, let's do this necklace. This is really nice. This has got some gorgeous gourd. This is a 16-inch necklace with a toggle clasp and um, no extender. This has got some beautiful, beautiful beads on it. Look at these beads. How beautiful these are. Really, really pretty, pretty. This is a great necklace for fall. And in between, these are all um, mother of pearl. Really, really pretty. And they match so nice to these beads. All right. And here's your clasp, your toggle. All right. Let's take a look at these beads, how beautiful these are. You can see the, all right, anybody interested in this? We'll do six on this one. Okay, what's we going to do next? Let's do another piece of bone. This one's pretty too. All right, let me get this together here. This is pretty long, really nice beads on it. 
a multi-strand necklace. I got to get it so that it's not um, tangled. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. All right. This is really, really pretty. This has a nice extender on it. Okay, so you have these long beads. A lot of character and a lot of different shapes in the beads in this. I still have to work this out. These ones are carved. And they have silver tone beads in between. And you have like ones that are shaped like little vases. This is a really nice piece. There's your close-up measurement-wise. It is a four-strander at the bottom, single around the neck, which is always nice because this is um, 18 inches. Because that gives you comfort. When they take and they put this up on top, it makes it easier for you to wear. And you've got at least a three-inch extender with a bead on here. So if anybody would like this, this is beautiful. All right, check. Can you see those beads, how nice they are? Look at close, you'll see the little ones that are shaped like vases. Okay. We'll do, um, we'll do this one here for eight. That's cheap. Okay. Now I have another, another one of these. I don't know if anybody will be interested in this one. This is really different. This one's on a ribbon. This is great for fall. All right. These are all flowers. This is not without issues. Okay, it has a couple of issues. Um, but it's a nice piece. You can see right here. Um, mostly everything is here. I might even have something I can stick in there or put in along with it. Um, it's got a nice satin ribbon on it. The back is all done with a felt and the stiff stuff underneath. This is like a tigery print. Okay. So if anybody's interested in this one, we'll do this for four. This is kind of nice. All right. Let's see what I got here in bone. Uh. All right, I have this piece here. This is an elephant pendant. And the this has got the... i um, got to be very careful with this. But this has got the screw closure. Here's your pendant. These are all elephants that are on here. I'll give you a measurement. Uh, 22 inches not count in the pendant. Okay. Very nice, shiny pendant. Give you a close-up of it. And it has all the elephants going up on the necklace. And again, it's got that space in the back for the comfort. And then that special clasp. Okay, if anybody's interested in this, we'll do 10 on this. The pendant alone is is um, um, is worth that. Now let's do eight. We'll do eight on this. Okay, we'll do we'll do do it there. It's got a little piece, little tiny piece off of it up there. Okay, let's do the wallet. All right, take this down. All right, I have this really nice wallet here. It's leather. Okay, it's got the little bow on it here. You open this up here. You can see all the really nice fine leather. It has a spot here for your money. All kinds of spots for your credit card. Also another spot in here. And then we open it up again. And you've got a place for your... Um, Driver's license, more credit card spots, 
this is Brighton okay now this opens up wider here so you could probably put your checkbook in here it's all tools in here smells so good the leather on this is really really nice got the hound's tooth in a tan and um, like an off-white and it's got the little heart thing here in the back and let me see what that is. that's got it written on there too all right so if you're interested in this wallet again all leather little bow on the front it's clean inside all right you have another paste down paste down here and then you have all these other spots here for cards you got a lot of room in here okay you can see all the tooth things here all right give you a close-up look of it all the way around this is your back it's got the faux croc print on it but it is leather all right the little heart all right and like I said, the, the Brighton signature is right here. All right. If anybody's interested in this really nice Brighton wallet, um, I would think that, um, I think 16 is a fair price for it if anybody wants it. So, nobody wants it, Barbara's going to use it. I don't know what for, but Barbara will use it. Very nice wallet. Okay. Let's do this big honking thing. All right. Now this. I don't know who this is. Let me see. Um, Robin always tells me what this is, and I always forget. I don't know if you can see this or not. There you go. I got to write it down because I always forget. But this is a honker. All right, but it's nice. Let me give you the drop on this. This is 18 inches, and you have a very long extender with the tag on it. Look at this beauty. This is your center. Okay. Really put together nice. All right. Um, you have stuff on here that's meant to look like, uh, stone, and then you have the big honking beads on here. I love the colors in this. It's so good. Chain is beautiful. You have about a two and a half inch extender on the back. Great chain. All right. If anybody's interested in this big necklace, all right, you see all the beautiful colors in this. We'll do eight on this also. Okay, our next piece is a big stone necklace. This has a screw um, clasp on it. This is done in pink. This is very pretty and it's also very long. It has a lot of different things going on in in the um, in these stones. I'm really not sure what these are. All right. I'm trying to get a look inside of these. but And then you have chips. And they're graduated a little bit. In some, and let me show you what I mean. Like these up here are smaller. Can you see these here? And then when you get down to the bottom, they're a little bit larger. So they're very, very pretty. I'll give you a measurement. This is long. Well, twenty-eight inches. Okay. Very, very pretty necklace. I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like on a bust, but it's twenty-four inches long. Anybody interested in this pretty necklace? We will do 10 on this. 
Okay. I have a different bone necklace here. If you want something really tribally looking, this is great. This is another one that you can really see all the stuff that's happening in the bone. All right. This has a hook. And this is your pieces. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. This just doesn't do it justice. All right. But you can see all the imperfections in the bone. I love when that all shows through. I mean, then people, when you're wearing it, they realize that it's it's the real deal. And I love these, um, the shapes of these. It's so different. It's one of the few pieces that I've seen that, that it's, it's really a different, it looks good when it's on. See that how it goes? Very, very nice. Here's the back. Again, you can see all the striations and everything from the bone in the back here. We'll do this one. This is for $8. I'm giving you guys steals tonight on this bone jewelry. I mean, real steals. It's going to be very hard to get bone the, the, the prices um, lately on the bone has, has skyrocketed. And um, it's just like the one place that I used to buy from to get, get jewelry. That's out of sight. Can't buy nothing from them anymore. Now these two places that I go to to buy um, the bone, which are all out in the um, upper Midwest, um, they're ridiculous the prices okay i have this piece here another collar necklace sort of interesting all right we have these little flowers here and these are i don't know i think they're metal all right this is um felt somebody felt at that or whatever and all these dangles coming down um, really cute little necklace it's on this is wax cotton. Show you the back. All right. And you can put these both up at the top, or you can put this down at the bottom. All right. This is cute. This is a fun necklace. This is kind of necklace you wear. It tells people that you're happy. All right. It's heavy, too. I mean, it's got weight to it. It's put together really nicely. It's got a um, two-inch extender with a teardrop on the end of it. Let's do this for five. Okay. We only got a few more pieces. All right. I have a pair of earrings, and these are turtles. I put them on a card. And these are the earrings. Oops. These are really cute. And these are also bone. They're on shepherd's hook. They're polished very, very nicely. They're really cute. Um, if you're interested in these earrings, we're going to do five on those. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do, let's do this big piece here. I got a really big piece. And I'll give you guys a good price on these, too. This one here still has part of the tag on it from when it was new. All right. This is the beads down at the bottom. These are all... Look at these beads here, how beautiful these are. Okay. Big, 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 big pieces. I'll give you a measurement. Now, you got to remember, these pieces that are bone, you know, you're going to find imperfections in these things because that's the, the nature of the beast. Um, Twelve and one, I would say. Well, if you go down to the bottom of that big bead, I'd say two. We're talking um, four, um, 
28 inches. Okay. I don't want to let you not see the beads. All right, but this is, you know, you'll see different things with the, with these beads. It's just the nature of the beast. Here's the, the tag that, you know, that was on it. All right, so if anybody wants this beautiful, what did I say, 28-inch necklace, these big honking beads, let's do 10 on this one. Really nice. All right, we have three more pieces all together, and then we're finished. Don't forget, want and price. At least I hope you want some of these things. All right, now I have a necklace, and it's signed. Um, I think this is White Horse Black Market. It's got WHB on it. It's really pretty. I'll give you a measurement first. Um, 16 at the at the shortest, and it's 18 at the longest. It's a graduated necklace. Um, these are these actually look like labradorite. I'm not going to say that they are, but they have the chatoyancy of labradorite. I don't know if you can actually see this when I move them I see blues and stuff in them um, and these are all glass and then you have a chain in between the two I'm going to bring this up close so hopefully maybe you can see there's the tag right here now even though it's short you do have about a two and a half inch extender now I'm going to try to show you these beads so you can see what I'm talking about all right Hopefully, I'm not guaranteeing that they are. They are glass of some sort or stone of some sort. But when I move these, I can see different colors in them. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. You know, and they're not, um, they're not all the same. And they have the characteristics of the green and the grays of the labradorite. So... Anybody interested in this white horse black market? We'll do 10 on that. It's really pretty. Okay, very, very pretty. And you can make it longer. All right. Really gorgeous. Okay. All right, we got one more bone piece. And then one really nice boho piece this is another nice one length on this is really long um, 12 and 3 this is at least 30 if not 32 inches okay this has got a screw clasp on it look at these gorgeous gorgeous this is an older necklace look at these beads here look at this one here really pretty piece of bone now you remember whenever you buy a bone necklace this has got a little bit of stuff on it i gotta clean up whenever you buy anything that's bone you have to respect it Okay, you can't just uh, take it and, you know, throw it around and everything because it is bone. It can, it can chip, it can break, all right? And also, when they made these things originally, they didn't put them on exactly the most um, fancy, secure, um, string material. So um, you just be careful with anything like this if you if you love bone like I do. We'll do this one here for ten also. Okay, now our last piece is this beautiful, beautiful necklace. I love this. 
I'm not sure. Um, this is probably one of the best fall necklaces you could possibly want. And um, you have a combination. This looks like bone to me, this part right here. Um, and I think that this here is also, okay, because it feels like it. I'm not positive it's, if it's that they, these, this looks more like um, wood here. But these here, they've got a lot of character to them. And they dyed everything um, to match. This is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Um, there's actually metal beads mixed in here. Think about wearing this with a nice sweater for fall. This is probably one of the nicest necklaces I've seen in a long time. As far as a, as far as a really nice boho piece. All right, lengthwise. Did I, did I tell you how long this was? Let me see here. This is 22 inches, I would say. Yeah, 22. All right, let's do this for 12. Believe me, if you get this, you will not be sorry that you got this. This is a very, very nice necklace, and I love the clasp on this. Look at this clasp. And all you do with this is you just slide that in there and put it like that, and it's very secure. This is nice. See, and these, these are cool. They're not, you know, if these were, if this feels warm. But these are cool. These these have got to be some kind of bone or horn because they wouldn't feel cold like that. So anyway, there you go. That's our, our premiere for tonight. I hope you enjoyed seeing some different jewelry. Um, I will, remember, I will get to processing this and get your invoices out to you um, by the 4th. And... Um, Remember, um, if you need to get a hold of me for any reason, um, you can send me, if you're on Facebook, you can send me a private message, um, or uh, you can also send me, um, I can look at the comments in after the video. Now, this you're, this you're putting the comments in the live chat. Remember, live chat, okay, which will make things good. Live chat's important because... You don't get as much of a lag, so you will um, have a better chance of getting items if you want them. All right. Now, I know there's something that I'm forgetting to tell you, but um, I got to go. So I can get this uploaded and ready to go by 730. It's going to run a little late tonight. Okay. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I will be in touch as soon as I possibly can. We'll see how, uh, how things go. And um, I want you all to take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And above all, stay happy. And remember, I love you guys a real lot. Take care of yourselves. And wait till you see some of the goodies coming up. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody.